Hi, so I have with me Mr. Peter, the founder and the president of Frisco Education Foundation and also CEO of uh, Mindbender Foundation, right? Well, let me, let me clarify. I'm a um, past president of the Frisco Education Foundation and I'm the chair for Mindbender Academy, which is a STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, art and math academy for middle school students. Okay, so w what does this foundation do? We would like our viewers to know a little bit about it. So the Education Foundation has three primary purposes. One of them obviously is to give scholarships to some of our high school students. And some of our students that was recognized tonight were also recognized to win the Education Foundation. We also raise money to be able to give our teachers who have these great ideas in their classroom but are not able to be funded through the normal process we're able to fund those, and we call those, you know, grants for great ideas. And then we have what, our, what we call our Partners in Education program, which Mindbender Academy falls into that, where we are able to partner with the business community to help bring education um, opportunities into the classroom to kind of help enhance the classroom experience for our students. Well, that's a great initiative and great idea, and I think recognizing students is a great way to give them a push ahead in their academic career. So you, you are doing a great job. So how do you identify which students to recognize and you know push forward? Uh, it, so we don't specifically look for students that are motivated. They will find ways to continue to be motivated. But I think what we have to do, and, and my belief is that as a business community, as a community in general, we have to accept the responsibility as being one of the pillars of the education system. We can't simply just send the students to school and then expect that the teachers will be able to spark them. Because the kids that are doing really, really good are gonna be able to be, you know, they get the pats on the back. And the kids that are struggling, they get the pats on the butt. But you have a great number of kids that are in the middle that we just haven't sparked yet. And we haven't sparked them with the traditional things that we do in the classroom. So I believe we've got to bring the industry from outside into the classroom and give the kids an opportunity to kind of peek over the fence at, at the possibilities and then tie what they've seen to what they're currently doing and hopefully that will spark them to say okay this makes sense and now you can you know they'll, they'll apply the skills that they need so we don't go out and search for the kids the kids are there uh, we just have to look at each individual kid's uh, child differently and figure out what do we need to do to keep them motivated so that they can have a great ex learning experience in the classroom. Well, learning a kid is making a kid educated is making their lives better. It's making them good for the life. And, Absolutely. Uh, you are doing a great job in that and I would like to thank you for that and it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for this opportunity and good evening.